Hi, and welcome to another episode of MarketScientist.in. I'm Pratik Singh, and today we'll be answering an interesting question. Over the years, I've been asked this several times. How can you predict the future when the only thing you know is the past? Can past data predict the future? And, or I, I'm asked even more, can charts predict the future? I'm going to answer this question with a small case study so we can understand this better. Well, let's begin. Well, first, the premise of the question is actually wrong. You don't need to predict the market in order to make profits. What you do need is a system which you've tested properly, add a dash of money management and you've got the recipe to be a profitable trader. Number two, crowd psychology. Now, every time you put on that trade, be it a buy or be it a sell, you are trading with another human being. Alan Greenspan once said, irrational exuberance for a great bull market. And this is also the reason why you see stocks plunge in one day, which we know as a crash. This happens because people get greedy and scared in an instant. Crowd psychology plays a very important role and charts can imprint these things. Number three, empirical data. Now, traders use history, historical price, as we say, over many, many years, they analyze it, which we call quantitative analysis, and try to find or decipher a commonly recurring pattern. This helps us identify something that keeps happening and is in the psyche of human beings or crowds in general. Add a dash of money management to this, and as I said before, you have a recipe for success. Now, the theory part of this is over. We're going to discuss an interesting case study. Let's suppose you are great at trading the symmetrical triangle. Now, for those people who don't know what a symmetrical triangle is, uh, it's basically price converging at a central point. They are actually grouped under continuation patterns. And once you reach the edge of the pattern, this is what a, a symmetrical triangle looks like in an uptrend as a general rule of thumb. When markets are moving up or an uptrend, the symmetrical triangle will continue the trend and break upwards. And the symmetrical triangle in a downtrend or when stocks are falling uh, will form and the generally a general rule of thumb is that the markets will fall down. Continue the fall down rather. Now, let's say you decide to make a system out of this. You need three things. You need a time frame. Let's suppose you decide to trade the 15 minute charts, right? Number two, you need a method. Let's suppose that our method is just trading the symmetrical triangle, breakouts and breakdowns according to the trend. And number three, a stock list. Now, it's impossible to trade all 50 stocks on the Nifty index. So let's, for an, as an hypothetical example, let's take five stocks that we'll scan every day uh, and trade this pattern. Let's suppose this is Reliance, Reliance Capital, GMR, LT, Larson and Tubro, and Nifty Futures. This was going to be your stock list. Now, the next step is that once we've got this done, the next step is something that we call backtesting, or we just spoke about empirical data. So we'll take these conditions, run it two or three years of data, and see if we can observe anything. Now let's suppose you do this and you get that 70% of the time you trade with these conditions, the stock moves in your favor. Not only that, it moves 2% in your favor. Now we've got something very, very interesting to play with. All we need to do now is manage our money because the main thing is trading is not the method, it is money management, preserving capital, and managing risk is what we are doing and making money for a living trading stocks. So 70% of the time stocks move in your favor and 30% of the time they move sideways or fall down. So out of 10 trades, seven trades are profits 
and these profits are 2%. So 7 times 2 is 14%. Now 3 trades are losses. So if you can limit this loss to not more than 1%, you have yourself a recipe for success. So 7 times 2 is our profit, 14, and 3 trades times 1 loss each, that's minus 3. Net net, your gain is 11%. This is why you don't need to predict the market. You need to follow a system that's tested thoroughly and manage your risk and make sure that your losses are smaller than your profits. This is the real holy grail of the stock market. This is the magic indicator. This is all and the most important that you will need to make money. So please write it down somewhere. Join us next time, we'll be uploading a lot more videos, we shall go in depth of methods and patterns and so much more. So don't forget to subscribe, the button is down there so you can get regular updates about our videos. Also don't forget to visit marketscientist.in and learn how you can be a more profitable trader.